Hi everyone, welcome back to Bagging Knowledge. Today we are going to be studying um, the common characteristics of constructive pericarditis. Okay, so now before we continue, I would like to share with you Matthew 18 21 22. And says that then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him as many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 70 times seven. Well, so that was in Matthew. I, I hope that you enjoy it. And so forgiveness is a very good for your health and as well for mine. Well, now we're going to continue with the common characteristics of constructive pericarditis. So basically, before we continue, what um, so I test the term I test it is inflammation and and pericarditis. So this is a, a around the cardiac layer. So we're going to be inflammation and constructive. That means that it is uh, it is basically doesn't have this open space so it's going to be constricted in, in in inside of something and then we're going to figure out what is inside of so and before we continue i would like to show you um, an image of a CT scan and in this image of the CT scan basically here we can see how this looks like the the constructive pericarditis but now um, before we continue we are going to see what is going to cause this okay so the 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 the, the usually this is caused by calcifications okay so i'm going to trace a line here so this is going to be caused by calcifications and those calcifications are responsible to cause this now this is this is uh, the the thickening which is, has these calcifications although so the pericardium normally how what is the the norm the thickening of the uh, of the pericardium normally it is going to be between one to two millimeters okay of thickness okay now then if you have calcification going to be more thick and also the movement is going to be different now if the patient has constrictive pericarditis now this is the patient with constrictive pericarditis and just abbreviating with and constrictive pericarditis this one instead of being one to two millimeter of thickness is going to be between four to twenty millimeters of um, of, of thickness now yeah you can imagine that is not double only it is multiple time more now those patients they also typically have uh, they have the present with um with slowly dyspnea okay also they also can present with a chronic edema okay and also they can present with a site now So probably you want to, um, I just want to mention what is the meaning of ascites. So basically ascites, it is uh, an abnormal accumulation within the abdomen so of, 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 of fluids, okay? So there are different causes of these ascites including cirrhosis of the liver, cancer within the abdomen or congestive heart failure and tuberculosis and we, we'll see here a picture of the person that has a site okay so also those patients they are going to present with a with a white descent so basically we are going to focus here so do you see this white descent here so they present with that one is descent and um, that becomes uh, deeper and steeper when the patient is in inspiration and then uh, you can see how uh, it is observed also in the jugular venous pressure tracing and so basically this picture that we are seeing here represent the jugular venous tracing so each of those letters has a meaning for example the letter A 
means that this is the a, the right atrial contraction. So the letter C means that there is a bulging of the tricuspid valve during right ventricular contraction. While the letter X, the, which is this one here, so that's it is the atrial relaxation. So you start with the contraction, then you get the bulging of the tricuspid uh, valve during the ventricular contraction then you get your relaxation of the right atrium and then the letter B so then continue the inflow so continue the inflow of the venous blood for this reason increase a little bit uh, it's more steep here and then the last one on the list that we already mentioned which is the Y it is the passive emptying of the right atrium after the tricuspid valve opening this is the normal now in this patient that Y as I mentioned before is going to descend and then it's going to be more deep it's going to be more deep um, and steeper during inspiration okay so now the all those things uh, are important to remember and but now we are asking so what well, what are the possible causes of of the patient that has this um this pericarditis this constructive pericarditis well there are different causes for example radiation therapy to the chest so if you are doing a radiation therapy to the chest so you can get that one also you can get a cardiac surgery okay cardiac surgery and or you can get the patient that has tuberculosis and also we can connect the other one tuberculosis do you remember that the patient the this patient also can present with ascites and all the, the ascites is is caused one of the things by tuberculosis or by constrictive pericarditis or if the patient has cancer or if the patient has cirrhosis and um yeah all those things okay now we can connect there that the patient that has constrictive pericarditis to have um, can cause ascites or if the patient has uh, tuberculosis now tuberculosis can cause so constrictive pericarditis which is the one that we, stand, we are studying or also can can cause ascites directly as we saw in the picture and constrictive pericarditis also can cause ascites so that is basically <laughs> just through tuberculosis doesn't uh, yeah so there are different ways that the patient is going to get aside so we could we should keep that in mind now tuberculosis is not that common for example in 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 us if you're born here but if the people uh i did this common in immigrant if you go to another country outside of us so probably you will cases of of tuberculosis even in us you can um, um, see cases just like this okay so but usually it's by immigrant okay um if you will see in an endemic region region okay so i think that we are um with that we are done with this constructive pericarditis and remember that we can do all things through christ who strengthened us and thank you so much for watching and god bless you